Hello, my name is Adam Smith, and for my 5.3 lab, I will be critiquing my fellow classmate Anthony's short film titled The Trade. Uh, from the get-go, I knew I would like this film, since I'm a huge dog fan, and I can honestly tell you that every single one of my pet dogs throughout my life have driven me crazy at some point by not listening to me. Uh, when we were outside playing around or even just letting them out to go to the bathroom. So I can feel the character's frustration in this film. Alright, to start my critique, I guess I'll start with the intro. I actually really like the overall look of the intro. The colors are very bright and happy. And to be honest, I think just a 2D animation would have been really cool for the whole film also. Um, since it is a 3D animation though... I kind of feel like maybe there should be something that is 3D in the actual intro logo. Another idea that might be cool would be to maybe make the stick in the intro twirl once. Other than that though, I really like the writing animation for the title. Now let's move on to the film. From my past experience of working with 3D models, I know how difficult it can be to create an animation and a 3D world. Uh, I totally applaud Anthony for going the 3D route. Uh, I myself am glad that I was able to go a different one, uh, only because of how difficult I know it is. But uh, anyway, okay, so let's get back to the film. Since this was for the midterm, I'm assuming that sound effects will be added at some point, so that's going to be really cool and help the overall uh, film out. I think the overall color of the entire scene could maybe be brightened up just a little bit, um, I don't know if it should be brightened as, you know, as much as the intro scene, but I think it could maybe be brightened up just a tad bit. Um, as far as the 3D models and animation go, I think it looks great. Uh, I really don't have much to say about it. Um, other than what the professor brought up about possibly scaling the size of the stick down just a bit, um, you know, I, I guess adding shadows to the characters would also be really cool. But, you know, I know we're on a tight schedule, so I don't know how, you know, how long or difficult that would take to actually create for each character. Um, another idea that popped up when I was watching uh, was maybe to add, like, a flashing on the phone just to make it seem like it was getting a call. Uh, this, this could help the audience know that it was a phone in the dog's mouth right off the bat. Um, you could also even just add a ringtone sound effect. I think that would work, too. As far as the dog movements, I think they're spot on. Um, I love the tail animations, and I love the fact that when he, you know, goes back up to his owner, he looks down at the stick, and then back at the owner, and then back at the stick, kind of messing with him. Uh, overall, I really like the storyline behind this. I think it's going to be great once it's finished, and I really enjoy the models that Anthony has created. I think not only the characters and the dog, but the actual overall scene works really well with this short film. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching.